What is a closed economy? A closed economy is a country that does not import or export. A closed economy sees itself as self-sufficient and claims it does not want to trade internationally. It believes it does not need to trade. The country claims that it produces everything its citizens need. We also refer to this type of economy as isolationist or an autarky. A closed economy is the opposite of an open economy or a free market economy. Open economies trade with other nations. They import and export goods and services. Hence, we call them trading nations. Maintaining a closed economy is more difficult today than 200 years ago. Certain raw materials are vital for the production of many modern products. Henry George wrote a book titled Progress and Poverty, published in 1879. He explained that cities and nations that cooperate with each other are much wealthier than those that don't. His illustration consisted of a plot of undeveloped, resource-rich land. Twenty people had divided up that land. In other words, they owned one-twentieth each. By cooperating intelligently, they could produce much more than if they worked in isolation, he explained. Similarly, 20 countries that trade intelligently can create significantly more wealth than 20 closed economies. A closed economy is never a utopia. Many leaders and their citizens have eventually found that out the hard way. No country has ever been able to produce the full range of products and services its population demands. Additionally, producing all those goods at competitive prices is impossible. In the 1930s, Canada and Argentina were the same regarding economic development. Their GDPs per capita were quite similar. Over the last 85 years, Canada has been an open economy and Argentina a relatively closed one. Today, GDP per capita in Canada is 3.37 times greater than in Argentina. The closed economy concept is a myth. Thank you for watching this brief video on closed economies.